Welcome to Classified, where we take your favorite fandoms and teleport them into the world of Dungeons and Dragons. In this series, we discuss D&D classes and where your favorite characters fit in. I'm Frey. I'm Shadu. This week, we are tackling John Carpenter's The Thing. Not literally, because that would be a bad idea. I'm pretty sure everybody died because of that. So, yeah. I mean, really, we're just talking about the main characters from Outpost 31. Or... The Big Magnum. <laughs> that was a good voice, too. As, yeah. as, as it was known in the book. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Possible spoilers. Uh, so, let's... Possible spoilers on a movie that has been out since 1982. Possible spoilers, a sled. <laughs> All right, so... I did uh, what I could with what I had, and I'm not particularly confident in a lot of them, but i have done stalling, so... McReady, um, who's kind of our main character. That's I mean, Mr. Kurt Russell in the movie. <laughs> anyway, uh, he's a Way of Mercy monk. A what an owl, huh? <laughs> a Way of Mercy monk. Alright, let's get into this. What's so, a Way of Mercy monk? So, uh, a... Way of Mercy Monk. If you haven't watched your own classes, you should. There's probably something right up here now. I did my editing correctly. This should be this should be a little So basically a Way of Mercy Monk is a kinda like doctors, where they do their best to heal, but if need be, they will give someone a swift and merciful end. It's all about mercy. That's okay, the whole so idea. it's like if they know that they can't save them, then they're right. going to give them a or quick death Or if they need to of... be taken care of. Basically, uh, I cannot remember his name. Uh, Morden Mordo. Solis. Morden Morden Solis. Solis. Okay. Morden Solis. Basically him. <laughs> anyway, so I went with <laughs> so I went with Ray and Mercy Monk. Uh, while harsh in his methods, McCready legitimately cared about saving humanity but would do anything to achieve that goal. He gives mercy in a very dark and twisted sense, but still definitely mercy. So he's a good person. He's just kind of ruthless and very, like, determined, does not care, very chaotic good, does not care who he has to hurt to get to his goal. Okay. No, I, I, yeah. yeah, And so, but I think mercy is a big part of it where, Mm -hmm. hey, you're going to be consumed by the thing. Hey, you're going to be, you know, whatever, it's mercy. That's mercy. You know, oh, I can't save you. Whatever. That's yeah. the kind of thing. I'm going to give you mercy. Right. By killing you instead of letting you suffer. Exactly. Okay, I can yeah. Okay, I can see that. So, yeah, yeah I could absolutely it's very, see It's that. very twisted, but I think the way of Mercy Monk is, a, is kind of dark in that way. All right, okay. anyway. Anyway, so my Mercredi. Yes. It, so, I picked... I didn't pick Monk. Mm-hmm. I picked Ranger. Hmm. So, I picked okay. Ranger because... Well, so they're in a desolate part. Like, they're in Antarctica, right? Right. So, right. obviously, they want to be alone. And from what we see of McReady, yeah, he's a stand-up guy. But right. dude loves to drink and loves to be by himself. He likes to be in yeah. his own space. And he likes to That's be by fair. himself. I and I can see that. that fits monks, too, though. Yeah, no, I mean, too. I think it does. But it's... He's the de facto leader. Like, everybody mm-hmm. seems to... Right. Trust his instincts and trust his, like, trust knowledge him. and science. Yeah. Right. And he's, like, the pilot. Like, isn't he, like, a yeah. pilot? Yeah. Like, oh, he is a pilot. pilot yeah. or whatever. So yeah. he's not... He like, is kind of a jack of all trades. Yeah, he, you know, he helps out where he can. Ooh. But, like, that's okay. the thing is he's the one that does that. So mm. I right. thought, like, so I said he's often alone. Mm-hmm. He's the de facto leader. Um, okay. And he uses his wits to save himself and others. So, yeah. like, knowing, like, John Carpenter and that how he's doing these, like, moral plays on those. Kind of morality plays. Yeah, yeah. morality plays. Well, um... He, with McReady, Mm -hmm. it was, okay, do I save myself and go out into the world or do I sacrifice myself and everyone else so that this doesn't get out and destroy the world? And he chooses to sacrifice himself and others so that it doesn't get out into the world. So technically it might be, that could also be the way of Mercy Monk, Mm -hmm. but that I just, I felt like he was more of a ranger because he... Whereas monks, although no, are really good at martial arts and stuff, they don't, like, fighting is the last option. Right. And McReady in this, 
he's basically fighting from the beginning of this movie right. until the in, end. Definitely in more of a metaphorical sense sometimes, but yeah. it's still... I, I can see it. Well, I like, I mean, it. I think he fights paranoia, and he, fight, he fights a lot. It's like man versus himself, man versus other. Right, And right. I think that that's part of it. I think yeah. one of those things that... And so that's why I went with Rangers, because I felt like he was more... And Rangers would be more apt to go into a desolate place hmm. to... Okay. Yeah, yeah. For, for things. But they're going to protect. And they're not going to just protect themselves, they're going to protect others. So... Our next, our next, uh... We're never getting through this, yeah. No, we're never, it's gonna be like a 40 minute episode. Alright, so, our next character is Childs. Not a literal child, his name is Childs. So, uh, I went with, uh, Berserker Barbarian. Let me explain. He has... Berserker Barbarian. He has anger issues and okay. trust issues, mm-hmm. which seems very barbarian. Uh, plus, his staunch skepticism is a bit more unusual, but still fits the class fairly well. He's very skeptical. He's very reticent to trust people. Mm-hmm. And he's he likes being strong. He likes being kind of... He's quick to anger, all of that. So I kind of went with, with Barbarian there. Just more for, like, kind of characteristic for personality. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Hmm. And Berserker was just the most, like, stereotypical Barbarian. <laughs> well, okay. Because he doesn't have a totem. He doesn't, like, have a, you know, anything. Well, this is going to be fun. Oh, Because no. <laughs> I went no. in a totally different direction. Oh, okay. And I'm pretty sure that these two <laughs> characters, I don't even know if they'd be able to communicate with each other. Like, <laughs> oh, no. My child's versus your child's. Because my child, I said artificer. Artificer? Artificer. 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 We've had this debate before. <laughs> yes. I think in every video. Yeah. Um, he's the mechanic. Uh-huh. He fixes everything on the right. station. He's got to be good at it or people die, right? So that's mm-hmm. why I was like, he's an artificer. So he makes things that work. And that's okay. and he also uses a flamethrower. You cannot get more steampunk than very, using no, a flamethrower. Right. It's very steampunk using a flamethrower. Yeah, yeah, so and anytime I think of arti- artificer. Artificer, that's right, yep. Like it's artisanal. Next is Nulls. Nulls. Um, I went with a College of Valor bard. Hmm. Again, let me explain. Nulls is charming and musical, but also shows a hint of his bravery and determination as he goes after the thing. This one was really hard. Okay. He's also a cook, so yeah. I felt like that's his art. Oh, that's his, oh, that's okay. his art. That's yeah. kind of his art. All right. And he's okay. very charming. He's very charismatic. Mm-hmm. I think that really kind of fits his. But he also loves, like, he's listening to music all the time when he's cooking and stuff like that. I feel. Mm-hmm feel like he's got that kind of artistic, creative gene. Oh, that whole bard thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that's no, kind of, it's kind of, and Valor is more about, like, talking about, you know, being brave and determined and all of that. And so I feel like he becomes that towards the end. I went with Wizard. Well, okay. Well, because I was thinking about how baking is like science mm-hmm. and how science is like magic and how you have to have spells so you... Like your spell book is kind of like your cookbook, but no. So that then that's why I went with wizard because I was like he's a cook. You need to know magic to not make dinner boring in Antarctica. I mean, no, like, that's, let's that's face it, you probably don't have a lot. Not a lot of, of rations. You know, you gotta yeah, yeah, yeah. you gotta figure it out. It's Lo- like oh, you know we're what? having macaroni again for the seven hundred and eightieth time. A lot of snow cones can be made though. A lot of snow cones. Just don't eat the yellow. They ones. have a. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's anyway, keep moving. Next on. is Dr. Blair. Dr. Ooh, Blair. Dr. Blair. And for this one, I went Armorer Artificer. Oh, wow. It's like the very next one. So, he is he is the biologist. That is part of his personality. But he's also a fairly competent engineer. Yeah. Because even without the influence... I mean, he has obviously the influence of the thing. He is the thing. But mm-hmm. the thing can still take, you know, aspects of the person... He's able to construct that craft, yeah. that alien ship, with his own skills along with, with the schematics kind of given by the thing. But he has the technological know-how to construct all of that. So, But I also feel like science, scientists are kind of artificers in a way. Artificers. I went with Paladin. This is yet another Rampart situation. What? What? Okay. 
So, all right, look, he tries to save the world by keeping the creature slash the thing uh, from getting to civilization. Like, he, the, he's, like, the big thing. He's trying to figure out a way to make, like, make a cure or, like, something to fight it. He's using his brain because he knows that's what he's, like, good at. he's good at. Whereas Ooh. McReady's good at stalking this thing and finding it and, you know strategizing to kill it he's more of the let me see if there have i can find a way to kill mm. it you know let me give you more armor in your arsenal or bullets in your gun or whatever right so and so that's why and i was like you know he dies before you can see that mcready actually takes on basically he takes on his mantle takes on dr blair's mantle after he dies and becomes the one that has to sacrifice everybody so Mm -hmm. whereas i think if dr blair had made it i think he would have been the one sitting there drinking the the whiskey (laughs) i don't know if that's necessarily paladin though but he's doing it for a higher power that's what i thought he's not doing it for himself he's doing it for a higher He's doing it for civilization. So whereas he doesn't, he may not believe in a God or he may not believe in a religion. His religion could be science. And if there are any more humans, there's no more science. So in his mind, he's being a paladin. He was willing to sacrifice himself. He was willing to do whatever it took to prevent the creature from getting to civilization. So that's why I said paladin. Like the kind of, holy crusade aspect of it almost. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how I thought about it. Because, I mean, nowadays, you don't have holy crusades. Like in our, like the modern age. Thank goodness. You don't really have, yeah, and you (laughs) shouldn't. Thank goodness we don't. You shouldn't have holy crusades, (laughs) everyone. That's not a good thing. We are not a fan. No. Um, (laughs) The Frey Girl channel does not approve of crusades. we We do not condone holy crusades. Yeah, holy crusades, nah, uh. Any kind of crusade. It doesn't have to be... It could be an unholy crusade. Unless you want to name a group the Crusades and go on a singing tour a la the Partridge family. That sounds great. I could, I could see it. I get it. I don't... I don't know. I don't know if I agree with, with my choice either. But... Because <laughs> um, uh, I forgot that he did try to make a cure as well. Yeah. I think that's... I don't know if it says a paladin thing. That's almost like a wizard thing. Oh, maybe. I almost would think like wizard, because he's intelligent. He's got he knows he use, can use his brain more than yeah like his body as a as a weapon. I feel like that's very with. We talk about this later. Yeah, we'll. All right, we're, we're going to go our master list. We're gonna. All right, so polymer. Uh, well, I went with I went with uh, wizard <laughs> school of divination wizard specifically. It's like we looks like. It's like we're just we're just going ahead a little bit. Going ahead a little bit. <laughs> So, uh, I went, I said that he is conspiratorial and sarcastic. Palmer tries, unsuccessfully, to divine the identity of the imposters before becoming one himself. He is all about investigating. All about kind of being investigative, but he's very conspiratorial. He's very like, oh, this. Oh, this, yeah, this, he is the this, conspiracy this. He's trying that, to see the yeah. future. He's trying to yeah. be, you know, all of that. So that's kind mm-hmm. of what I went with, divination wizard. Divination wizards are right more than he is. Um... <laughs> Because they're kind of like clairvoyants. They can actually see the future. Uh, where he can't. <laughs> really can't. Yeah, but he doesn't um, know. But he doesn't know. So he would think of himself as a divination wizard in a way. Yeah. So that's kind of what I went with. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't know if you're going to like mine. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. I said he was a druid. He does turn into that thing at some point. I, yeah, but uh, most of them do. <laughs> I mean, so I said I, I said because he lo- he loves nature. He loves mm-hmm. he's a stoner, guys. He's a stoner. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I'm saying there is. I a did meme. say, and I said he changed into meme. something else. So there is a meme that druids are just stoners. I mean, it's all about nature, man. It's all about nature. I said druid. I said what I said. All right. I I don't agree. But, <laughs> but I I 
I like the... You like how I take those big swings? I like the inspired choice. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'm nothing if not inspired. (laughs) Anyway, next. uh, Had we mentioned yet in this episode that I am the novice in this and he is... I'm the expert. (laughs) If you didn't know already, you don't know. So... Uh, next is Dr. Is it Dr. Copper? Yeah. It's Dr. Copper. That's a great name. Mm-hmm. It's Dr. Copper. Uh, I also went with Way of Mercy Monk. Again, I'm going to explain. Uh, he is the station physician. He's mm-hmm. the doctor. Uh, but I didn't want to go cleric because I thought that was too cliche. And mm-hmm. he doesn't really do it for a higher power. Uh, so he's one of the few that isn't actually assimilated. Uh, mostly due to his more kind of uncaring ways. Mm. So it's, yeah, it's one of those things where it's mostly due to the uncaring ways. He, he dies, but he's not assimilated. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's mostly due to him being much more uncaring. He's still a doctor, but he's much more, again, like more than Solus. <laughs> All right. You keep making Mass Effect references until we get it. So apparently I'm basic because oh. I said cleric. <laughs> I mean, I mentioned that it was a valid choice, though. Yeah, so it's but not... I also said, yes, it's cliche <laughs> to put a doctor as a cleric. So, yes, I did know that that was cliche. <laughs> but it's... it's So, no, Dr. Copper was the one that tried to do the cure. I Dr. Think he... Blair was the one that was trying to just kill it. Like, just... Yes. Come up with ways to kill it. So yeah. this one, like Dr. Copper was the one that wanted to study it and try to find a right. cure for it. There were it. noble intentions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I'd... So. Vance Norris is our next one. I went with a... Uh, I really struggled with this because there was not much on him. There wasn't a lot And he's on not, him. like, he's not a very... He likes rocks. Fine. He likes rocks. So, in light of that, the closest I could find to, like, a geologist or a someone who really likes rocks uh, is a school of transmutation wizard. That's, that's more, not bad. That's more alchemy, but it's still, like, that. I think there's some spells that are more like, hey, you can have a, you know, throw rocks at people or you have a fist of rocks What is that? A rock form. Rock form. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. Stone skin is, is abjuration, but still. Anyway. Um... So I'd say he's a fairly standard geologist who is a natural leader and very knowledgeable. Okay. Yeah. There really Pretty wasn't much all a I got. lot. Pretty I much said all I got. barbarian. Well, he's quick to take uh, McGreedy down. He's like yeah. the biggest proponent of trying to take him down. Like when they when they're like, oh, McGreedy could be the thing. And then he's the first one to turn on him. And mm-hmm. then... He, like, he almost rages out. They have to, like, hold him back. And so I was like, no, that's a barbarian. Like, that's a yeah, berserker rage that's a very, almost. that's a very, you're in a tavern and somebody yeah. says something about the barbarian's tribe. And they're yeah. like, let me out of, let me out of. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I thought. Like, that scene was really what kind of got yeah. me to the barbarian part of it. Oh. All right. So, uh, next up is George Bennings. I, he, again, he did not have much character development. He kind of just said... He was the meteorologist, so he kind of just said, hey, there's a storm coming. Look. That's snow. it. That's it. That's all he did. So I went with Storm Sorcerer. Uh, I'm not implying he conjured it, but... Oh, uh, you won't make a doctor a cleric, but you'll make a meteorologist <laughs> a Storm Sorcerer? Look, it's the, it's the best thing I could find. <laughs> He's a meteorologist. That, enough said. <laughs> okay. Enough said. All, All right. meteorologists aspire to control the weather. That, <laughs> All that meteorologists are storm sorcerers. All meteorologists are storm sorcerers. Put it on your business card, meteorologist. <laughs> You're now a storm sorcerer. All meteorologists want to wield the tempest for their own power. All right. So for George, I went with Rogue. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I said he's he's kind of mysterious. Like, he's somewhat of a mystery. Um, he's quiet. He's in the background. Um, so he seemed a lot like a rogue. Like, he's more willing to look at everything, take in his surroundings, look and see what maybe other people's weaknesses are in case he has to take them down. And so that's why I thought rogue. So he's Batman. 
no. He looks, he's in the shadows, he looks at the surroundings, sees what everybody's weaknesses are. I mean, but... Has a plan for defeating all of them. I mean, when you put it like that. Big computer. Yeah, then then he's like that. (laughs) But I don't think Batman would be stuck in Antarctica. Look, he... Is he the Wish Batman? Is he Teemu Batman? So... I finished George Benning, so we're done with George. Next up is Clark. So, all right. I went with a Beastmaster Ranger. Let me explain. I feel like I have to say that every one of them. Caring deeply for the sled dogs. Clark became very angry and sad when he realized they were killed by Blair and not the thing. Yeah. He is an animal lover. He is an animal lover. And he, and even to his own detriment. And again, Mm -hmm. I see that. We're going to be murdered by one of our corgis at some point. And we're going to be like, oh, but they're so cute. Anyway, so I think Clark is a Beastmaster Ranger because he loves animals. And... Okay, that I could see sense. that. Yeah, I could actually see that. It, this yeah. one was one that I kind that I did have right. Had like I really yeah. had to think about this one. And because, there's not much on him either. No, because he does die fairly quickly too. I think. Yeah, he does. I think on account of the thing because he cares about too yeah, much. Yeah, he cares but, about his puppies. And right, which again, I, can't I say get that. No, I, I, I get it, that. but I mean, again, he dies. So, yeah. you know. So yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know what to put in here mm-hmm. and we didn't really get to see him fight that much or right. anything so i didn't couldn't really tell if he was a good fighter or not but he is a survivalist and mm-hmm. he prefers to be around animals more than people so i said monk okay i okay. said so he's an animal lover All right. and the times that i've played and had a monk in our uh group mm-hmm. um he didn't even want to ride horses <laughs> Like, he was like, no, oh, creatures. Creatures need to be. And I was like, all right, dude. All right. <laughs> Get there faster if we had if on horses. But That's what the know. horses are there for. Yeah. So, I thought monk because of that. Oh, Animal okay. lover. And then I said Fair. that he keeps his cool until he can't take it anymore. Like, he's real chill until yeah. the very last second. And then yeah. he just kind of explodes. I almost yeah. went barbarian because of the whole berserker <laughs> thing, but right. I thought, you know, that that's different because he went, he got really upset because of what he found out about the dogs. Cut that anyway, so it's not. Window is a berserker barbarian. Again, I'll explain. A cowardly. But you gotta rage... stop saying that. They expect Again, you I'll to explain. explain. Hey, I'm going to explain. I see the words <laughs> on the screen. I know what you're going to say. Cowardly but rage-filled, <laughs> Windows had anger issues, and those eventually led to his downfall. He had anger issues. That's pretty much all I picked up on. There was not much else. Cool. I said rogue. Okay. I'm sensing I have a lot of barbarians, and you, you have a lot of rogues. Have a lot of rogues, so we'll have to, we'll have to, you know. We'll, we'll figure this out. We'll sort it out in the wash. All right. <laughs> So I said, he doesn't trust anyone. Okay. okay, right. And then I said, he's secretive and he's mm. quick to accuse others. Mm. So he's taking, he's like pushing it off himself okay. to get it to everybody else. So okay. I, that's what I. All right. And our final character is indeed the thing themselves. Because we don't know what gender they are. They can be whatever they want to be. In fact, they can literally be whatever they want to be. Yes. So they are all genders. They are all things. All things to all people. That's why they're <laughs> called the thing. The thing. Um, so I went with a Circle of Stars druid. So, a shape changer of the highest degree, the thing from another world is, as the name implies, from another world. Mm-hmm. Circle of Stars is very celestial, very astral, very So space. you could be from space, yeah, I can And see that. druids, obviously, their big thing is shapeshifting. Mm-hmm. And what else does the thing do if not shapeshift? That's true. So, That's there's true. Mine. That's good. I think yeah. he had to be a druid, he. I think they had to be a druid. And I went with Circle of Stars because space. So, alright. What did you go for? The Beholder. That's not a. It's not a class. Yeah, but you don't have monsters usually in your. No, but I mean, it's. It's not a class. It's just... 
Also, why a beholder? I don't know. I like him. I would think like a doppelganger, like a gelatinous ooze. That is cute. I mean, technically, you could say he's a golem too. I mean, I'd be kind of, kind of. But more than no, probably not. I mean, I like yours, the circle of stars, Druid, because it does, like, it does come. Well, we don't know. What <laughs> if it comes from like under the earth? Like maybe there is. It has a. It has a UFO. Oh, there's a UFO. Oh, it literally know. has a UFO. Oh, that's right. That it's crashed right. in a crater in the middle of the Antarctic. Oh, that's true. And we see in the beginning sequence of, of the movie itself, mm. the UFO crashing down into Antarctica. Oh, do we? Yeah. Oh. Like, the first shot is of the Earth in the little I ship. must have been getting popcorn. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember so the first So, we know it's an alien. I mean, I guess it could be, like, from the moon or something. But well, still no, alien. but I mean, like, it's, it's still extraterrestrial. An alien. It's extraterrestrial. Yeah, so, yeah. So, it's... Yeah. I mean, even if it technically evolved on Earth and then went off somewhere and came back, it's still extraterrestrial. Yeah. Well, I was thinking more like celestials and monsters and the monstorium. And okay. Whatever. I mean, no, I I get it. I don't know. I, I, I like the idea of using a monster. I don't know if Beholder is it, though. Look, they have one big eye and they float <laughs> and they're really cool. And that was the only one I could think of. Beholders are, are my favorite monster, mm-hmm. but I just don't see that. I feel like there are some like more shape-changing monsters. If you wanted to go for something like that. Oh, okay. And they're doppelgangers. I think a doppelganger Oh, great. what about like a um, skinwalker? <laughs> That's a doppelganger. Oh, is it a doppelganger? That's okay. a doppelganger. All right, all right. They're, they just take other people's forms. That's they're what they sound like. Oh, okay. They're, cool. Im- they're like kind of amorphous normally, mm-hmm. and then they take the forms of other people to impersonate them and confuse and hunt. So basically, the thing is a doppelganger. I listening a little while ago. Okay. So, uh, now we get on to our perfect imitation list. Oh, that's right, because they make perfect imitation It is the perfect imitation list. So. So we're we're just going to copy and paste everything, and they're going to be dual. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) No. All right. So, we have, uh, so McReady first. All right. Uh, I said monk, you said ranger. Yes. So, what do you think? I think ranger. I think he's a ranger. I, I think... We didn't see him really unarm combat. Mm-hmm. And isn't that a big deal for monks? I would say. It's like they're like the masters of unarmed strikes, right? Yes, the masters so, of unarmed strikes. So. And he never went with the thing. Like he never took the thing on mono a mono. <laughs> right? So, I mean, I that's why I, that's why I don't think monk. I don't know if Ranger is perfect. <laughs> I'm just saying that Monk, it seems like he's, yeah, Monk because he likes to keep to himself. I don't know how good of an unarmed combatant he is. Fighter? Well, you do fighter. I think fighter makes sense. Well, that makes, and it also, you there are different types, right? Is there like right. a more like... There's... I'm saying fighter, yeah, there's like more kind of isolated fighters. I would also think fighter more for like the leadership aspect. Yeah, because a lot of times the fighter is the one that people look to. It's not necessarily a bard's form of charisma, which is much more like, dare I say, seductive in a way. Right. A fighter is more like they're the natural leader. They're going to be the military commander or whatever kind of thing. They just have that leadership. The leadership ability. Yeah, so. So, Yeah, okay. I mean, fighter. He's a a fighter that's taken the, like, uh, what's that feat? There's a certain feat that's for that, too, that's, like, the leader. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's like synergy or something. It's it's not Sentinel, because Sentinel's about shields. But anyway, fighter. So, uh, then we have Childs. Childs. I said barbarian, you said artificer. He is. I think he should be artificer. The mechanic. I'm, yeah, I'm going to, I'll fold artificer here. I think that's, I think that's They're the all option. a bunch of artificers. <laughs> uh, then we have Nulls. Uh, okay, you said Bard. I said Bard. I said Wizard. But I said Wizard because I thought about his spell book being like a cookbook. Right. And that, because that's a, yeah. Right, again, to serve man. So, <laughs> it's, you know. <laughs> so, I would say Bard more because it's the kind of the art, his art is cooking and he's charming and musical and yeah. all of that. Okay. So I can go Bard. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then we have Dr. Blair. And you said Armored Artificer. 
Yes. And, and I said, said paladin. paladin. But okay, now Dr. Blair, is that the diabetes guy? What? <laughs> is that him, Wilford Brimley? Wilfred Brimley. Does he have like the big mustache and that he's the one that goes into the cabin? Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yeah, that, so I yeah, thought that's, that's who I thought that's it him. was. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, he's the one who makes the craft for the thing. Yeah. So yes, he is the one that goes into the he's cabin. Like, and he, and he's also and the one that he though. like um, goes through and like sabotages all of their equipment. Right. That's yeah. That's him. Okay. So now I understand the artificer more. Yeah. Because I think I was thinking of somebody else, not when I was doing the. When I was going through everything, but yeah. like when we were talking about it earlier. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. I could see where it's not, where he's not a paladin. I think artificer makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Because if you know how to break it, you probably know how to fix it. <laughs> All right. Then we have Palmer. I went with School of Divination Wizards, just wizard, and you went with Druid. Druid. I. There's not really a conspiracy theorist class. <laughs> I, can see. I mean, I guess the rogues would be kind of conspiracy kind of, theorists. Yeah, yeah. Is there a rogue subclass that I might work? I uh, I don't think so. I'd say, I guess, inquisitive, probably, because they're investigators, but, uh, you know. I could see inquisitive rogue. If we wanted to do that, or mastermind rogue, maybe? Oh, ma- I think mastermind, mastermind. rogue. Okay, yeah, I think we'll that would be ma- good. Uh, then we have Dr. Copper. I went with Way of Mercy Monk, and you went with... Clemic. Um, I don't feel like there's a... I don't know if there's enough of a higher power to him to really justify Cleric. Science. Science? Humanity? I, yeah. I guess... I guess I can see it. I think... There are a lot of doctors out there that think of themselves as gods. <laughs> I mean, they are <laughs> resurrecting people, literally, a lot of the time. Yeah, so, that is true. You know, that's that's fair. Yeah. But that's... I, I don't think cleric... I, I don't think most clerics would be that egotistical would be like, I am a cleric of myself. <laughs> I am God. <laughs> I am the cleric of medicine and I serve myself. That's just like... That's just like a scammer. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like... Grifter. It's a grifter, okay. right? Like, yeah, well then let's not. So yeah. I think I think monk isn't bad. I just don't think of him as a monk. Again, I think of I was, monk again, as I'm leaning on the subclasses. A I lot think here. of monk as Bruce Lee. That's okay, that's fair. Is that not fair? Like no, I that's mean fair. he did con- like he was supposed to be in Kung Bruce Fu Lee or like a Shaolin thing. monk or something. Yeah, Shaolin monk. Yeah. That's that what can... he's called. He's a Shaolin he's monk. He's a Shaolin monk, yeah. yeah. So, so that's what I think of. Okay. That was David Carradine in Kung Fu, but I don't think Bruce Lee was supposed to do it, and they double crossed it. Cleric's not horrible. Maybe it's something in between that. I don't know what that would be. It could be wizard. It could it be, be wizard. We could do wizard here. I think yeah, because Knowles okay. is not because I think a wizard. I, wizard. I think he's got to have some. To me. He's got to have some sort of magic. All right, Vance. Vance Norris. Vance. Uh, again, geologist. I went to School of Transportation Wizard because that's the closest I could find. And you went with... Barbarian. Barbarian. Yeah. I, I, I don't beautiful. see him as being magic-based at all, though. Well, geologists are kind of trying to... They use... Detect magic on rocks. <laughs> to detect magic on rocks. To find out their histories. <laughs> to find the Cabo crystals. <laughs> um, <laughs> or the Infinity Stones, I guess. Right, whatever. <laughs> Pick a multiverse and go with go it. Go with it, yep. All right. Um, uh, so, I, Barbarian is really that one scene. Yeah, but that's like his big scene. That is, oh, that's kind of his big scene. Okay, I'll, I'll concede on Barbarian. Well... What if we did Fighter? Because he still uses his brain to be a fighter, yeah. right? And he okay. has to have some sure. sort of... Sure. Um, what do they call that? Discipline. Right, okay, have Fighter. Have some sort of discipline. Then we have George Binnings. Mm-hmm. Again, meteorologist. I said a storm sorcerer. 
But we're in George, uh, and I said rogue. You said rogue. I just love storm sorcerer, <laughs> and now I feel like all meteorologists need to be called that, so that's what we're calling him. Storm sorcerer. <laughs> we're right. going to give him the Prospero Award. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. William Shakespeare. Yes. Willie Shakes. Will Sh- we uh, have a Clark next. I said Beastmaster Ranger. You said Monk. Well... It's because he loves animals. Right. But Look, I was going to say Druid. And I didn't. I could have said Druid for every single one of them. Because every single one of them changes. Well, not every one of them. But the majority of them change. Of them. And we don't know who was the thing. I think it probably wasn't McReady, though. Because no. yeah, right. he really uh, enjoyed that whiskey. And I don't know if an alien yeah, would enjoy whiskey I really know. I think McReady might have been the only one who wasn't. Beastmaster Ranger because loves animals. Yeah, and so I think I think we should go with Beastmaster Ranger because I do see him being a ranger. He loves the animals and he's supposed to take care of them, and that would be something that a ranger would do. So, Windows. Definitely not a window into his soul. Defenestrator Barbarian. No I'm kidding. Uh, I went with Berser- eating him out. <laughs> I went with uh, Berserker Barbarian. You went with. Rome. Um, it was the whole trust thing. It was the trust thing. It was thing, the trust thing. And that he's real quick to accuse, and he doesn't want to take accountability, and that's a rogue thing, we too. We so. have one rogue so far. Mm-hmm. I, I'm good with rogue. Okay. That makes sense. All right, then we have Fuchs. Or Fox. But Fuchs. 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 All right. So I said... I said Inquisitive Rogue, <laughs> and you said Wizard. <laughs> ah, great. Okay. Well, it's the intelligence because I like I was thinking of like I was looking at the abilities, and I gotcha. kind of right. because I've been trying to add more into it to be like to narrow it down right. a little bit better. Okay, that's fair. That's, that's why. Fair. That's why I said that's intelligence, fair. and that's why I went with Wizard mm-hmm. is because to me that's the one that uses intelligence the most, okay. and he seemed like that. But I mean, I'm okay with whatever. Yeah, I just don't think of him as with Rogue. I feel like they've got a secret agenda. It was more about the deduction aspect oh, of okay. it. Okay, it was more right. again. I'm I'm lean on the subclasses quite heavily because mm. you can get more specific with those. Yeah, you can. You drill it. So in. I, can see I went with Inquisitive Rogue mostly because of his kind of yeah his investigative abilities, his deductive skills, all of that. Okay. Um, wizard kind of... I get... Wizards are intelligent. I would say that it does take some intelligence to, to deduce things. Yeah. I just don't know if he has magic. Or what could be an equivalent to magic. Yeah, that's true. No, I think Inquisitive Rogue. I think we're going to do that. All right. So, uh, we have the thing. And now for the piece de resistance. The Ooh, thing. Oh, the piece they think dance. The piece of monster mayhem. I mean... <laughs> The piece. Could be so long. De resistance. <laughs> so we have uh for me I said Circle of Stars Druid. Again, not much explanation is needed. You said Beholder. Well, I you know what? Okay. He's a monster. If we're going to go with a monster. And which he's I an like, alien. Are there any aliens in D D? Well here's the thing that I forgot and feel horrible now saying. Um so, aberrations are from the Far Realm, which oh. is outside of the rest of, like, the multiverse. Okay. It's basically space. Is that, like, the quantum realm? And everything else from it is considered so alien you can't understand it. So, technically, a beholder being an aberration is an alien. Oh, look at that! But, I would say that it does not have the abilities that I'm the thing has. I'm an accidental has. intelligence person. I think we've kept you all in suspense long enough. <laughs> uh, so, as far as, like, what we've decided. So, what are we, So again, I said Circle Strife Druid, you said Beholder. Mm-hmm. I think, if we're going to do a monster, which I think is fine, I think that's not a bad way to go, we should do Doppelganger. Okay, I'm cool with that. I Let's just, do Doppelganger. I, think, I think Doppelganger is the... I mean, it's right a choice. little, like, off of our normal. But the thing is, I think if you had if you had to pick a D&D class, it would have to be Druid. And I would say Circle Stars because space. 
Yeah. I think the thing is much more of a monster than yeah. a fox, essentially. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not really, it doesn't really interact with them at, in, unless it's eating them, basically. Right, too. so if you insist, I'm sure it's intelligent, but if you insist on, there have to be classes, I would say Druid is our mm. final pick. If not, we're gonna go Doppelganger. Yeah, I think we should go Doppelganger. So. I think this one, it is, from our perspective, a monster. Right. So. Doesn't necessarily mean that it is a monster to it. Or it, you know, it's right. people. <laughs> Thanks for I've joining been, us. I've been should too. I'm Frey Girl. Uh, I am SHG Studios on YouTube. Uh, as well as on Instagram. I'm also on the uh, Death of Starting Sphere. Download uh, the build. I'm also on... Cyber Gate Productions because I have more nerd out. I am Frey. I'm on this is my YouTube channel. It is, yes. <laughs> uh, I am Frey Girl on Twitter. Mm. I am uh Frey Comics on Instagram, TikTok, and pretty much anywhere else. Um so yeah, you can follow us there. Yeah. Um yeah. And cool. if you have any suggestions or any fandoms you would like us to do, uh please comment on there or yeah. find us on any of our social media. We'd love to talk to you guys about it. Exactly. She is also on Distance Nerding. I am on Kyber Distance Cave. Nerding and on Kyber Cave. Um, on so. Distance Nerding, I do the download. Uh, I also do um, the Saturday Morning Nerd Out for Kyber Cave. Yeah. I am the Game Master on that show. Game Master. And see, I'm the Game Master on this show. It's, it's weird. I guess I'm the Dungeon Master. I just like to share the love and the titles. Yeah. Alright. Well, thank you guys yes, so much. Thank Have you. A we will see you day. next time on... The rest of your time. Plus one!